Hello guys, it's Fang here again, and we're talking about redox reaction this time. And we're finding product when they give us reactants. Alright, here's the seven must you must know in order to... In order for the redox reaction to be easy for you. So basically, make it easier. But you must know all these seven. Alright, number one, you must know polyatomic ions. So basically, that's SO4, 2 minus, ClO minus. Basically, more than two atoms and they have a charge on it. Number two, you must know solubility rules. NaCl breaks out to be Na plus and Cl minus. Three, must be able to identify transition metal. Transition metal is, most most of them have different slash more than one oxidation states. So, example would be Fe2 plus or Fe3 plus or Fe. So you see I have three oxidation states, okay? You kind of need to know them like in order to make it easier for you. Number four, must identify which is being reduced and oxidized. Let's see, Cr2 plus and plus Fe goes to Fe2 plus plus Cr. Right here, Cr is being reduced, right? And on the product side, Fe got oxidized. So from 0 to 2 plus and 2 plus to 0. And must balance, okay? Five, must know algebra. Here, basically it just relates into later balancing the charges and etc. And six must be able to ID why it's why it is oops why it is redox. Seven must know electric negativity. Okay? Just in case people who doesn't know um transition metal, here's a picture. Like hydrogen's here and hel helium's right there and here's just uh, some metals and here's the gas. And right here in the middle between them the gap right here are the trans transition metals. Okay? Let's now talk about number seven, electronegativity. So electronegativity increase to the left, no to the right, and up. Electronegativity means that how much do the electron want? Uh, how much do the ions want their charge? Want their electrons? Or like how hard is it to take away electrons? All right, let's just go over examples. One, redox. Okay, number one, example one, Cl2 plus NaOH goes to NaClO minus plus H2. First, let's just go step by step. Cross out the spectator. 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 Yeah, whatever. Um, we know that Na plus, it's column one, it's in column one, and it's soluble of anything unless it say solid. So, since if they didn't say solid, I would think, I would have to think they're aqueous. So, they must be crossed out. So, I would left with Cl2 plus 2OH right here. Okay. Second step, label which is being. Let's see. All right. Let's not go second step first. Think about this. Now you're left with this Cl2 and 2OH, right? And we know it's a redox because Cl2 is elemental and 2OH is another reactant. Okay. That's a reactant I have. Okay. That's going to change. Think about electronegativity. Okay. Oxygen you cannot be reduced. Because it only has one state. It only has two states, zero or two minus. And hydrogen, zero or two minus, okay? Hydrogen, on the other hand, can be H2 or H plus. And then Cl2, it can be negative one or positive because of something I'll mention later, okay? Not to think. Cl2, it's pretty electronegative. And, um, oxygen is more electronegative than Cl2. So we know that oxygen cannot be reduced nor oxidized because of that. Because there's other alternate who can be, who can be reduced or oxidized instead of oxygen. So first we look at hydrogen. Hydrogen is all the way onto the left side of the periodic table. So we would think he would have pretty low electronegativity. So you're right. First of all, hydrogen would have to be zero or positive. But we know heat's already gonna heat's already positive here. And um he must though it means he must be reduced. He must be reduced. So we know he only he can only reduce to H2. Boom, you found one of your product already. Okay. Um Alright, second step. Since you make from H to H2, how much oxidation number did you lose? H plus to H2. So you have two H plus, right? 
So 2 times positive 1 equals 2. You lost a total of 2, 2, um, 2, what's that called? Mm, oxidation number. Okay? 2 oxidation number. And we have Cl here. Alright? So since this got, hydrogen got reduced right here. Since hydrogen got reduced, um, so it means Cl2 must get oxidized. Because you cannot have two things reduced. It must go somewhere. It must. Alright? We have Cl2 right here, okay? And we have O right here. Oxygen? It's still 2 minus, okay? Since this is being oxidized, and you have 2 Cl, and you have 2 H, so I would divide by 2. You have 2 oxidation number here, right? 2. And I have 2 Cl right here, right? They must be the same. So I would think Cl would go into 2 Cl plus, okay, because I'm just, I'm just easily shifting the H positive for the positive to go to CL. You see what I did there? I just merely shift the positive to there, okay? Now we know CL is positive. I have two CL positive, and I have oxygen alone by itself, and we know that oxygen cannot stand by itself. I cannot have just an O minus, O minus two charge right there. So we think of polyatomic ions. Now you see why they come in handy? Okay. Think of, um, alright, think of a polyatomic ion, poly ion, with Cl and O, okay, with Cl and O, with in them, okay, and Cl must be positive 1 oxidation, and O must be negative 2 oxidation, okay, because we know what we make already, 2 Cl positive oxidation, and this have no oxidation number since it's 0, and O's oxidation number never changed. Okay, so we would know we must have a Cl positive one as uh, my oxidation number and oxygen is negative 2 oxidation number, okay? So to my mind, I would think which Cl polyatomic has positive 1 oxidation number? So I thought of hypochlorite, chloride, hypochlorite, yeah. Right here, I have positive, negative 2, right here, oxygen is negative 2. I have positive 1 for chloride, so I add them together, I get negative 1 charge, right here. So, boom, it worked, okay? So we know what we make already. Cl2 plus OH minus goes to 2ClO minus plus H2, okay? Now, algebra comes in, you need to balance. I have 2Cl here, so I have 2Cl here, okay? I, I will have 2Cl here, so I do. And then, I have 2O here, but I only have 1O here. So I will put a 2 here, and once I have 2 O here, I need balance of hydrogen. I have 2 hydrogen here, I have 2 hydrogen here. Boom, you're done. That's your answer. Okay, Cl2 plus OH minus goes to 2 Cl2 plus H2. Okay, that would be my answer. Let's go on to the next problem. It's a bit different. Okay. FeNO32 plus O2 goes to Fe2O3. I gave you the answer here, okay? Now, first think FeNO3. What's that? Iron 2 nitride. Nitrate, okay? Think of solubility? They're aqueous, okay? So I will have 2 Fe... No. Don't think of the 2 first. I balanced already, but whatever. So I will have Fe2 plus and 2 NO3 minus because I have a 2 here, so 2 shifted. So I have NO3 minus charge. Okay, we know this problem is a reduction. Uh, uh, it's a redox, my bad. It's a redox because of oxygen. Elemental state, yes? Okay. Okay, now we think <clears throat> oxidation must, o oxygen must be reduced because it wants to be more negative, right? They can oxidate, okay. Oxygen only have two oxidation. Oxid O2 to 2 O minus, right? And then for, as for Fe, I have two charge already. Since um, oxygen is being reduced, Fe must be oxidized, so it must get more positive. So Fe2 plus can go in either Fe, elemental state, or Fe3 plus, which adds once more uh, adds um, one oxidation number to it. And we know that it's being oxidized, so we must know that it gets more positive. So I would go to this Fe. 3 plus, okay? And now we know what we're gonna have on the products already. Fe3 plus and 2 O2 minus. And I forgot to mention that NO3 
203 and that's a spectator remember solubility rule yes so we cross that out so it doesn't exist anymore so I would just have Fe 2 plus plus O2 goes to Fe 3 Fe 2 O3 okay let me ask let me let me just show how let me just tell the concept between finding that my concept at least okay so I know I will have Fe 3 plus on the product side because it's being oxidized so that's the only state that can go into so Fe 3 plus and we know oxygen is being reduced that um, reduced since it's being reduced so it gets more negative so I would know oxygen can only go to O2 minus okay so I basically know what I'm gonna have on the other side already and remember I cannot put them ion by itself unless they're aqueous I don't remember I don't remember any law for iron and oxygen to be aqueous together so I will have to put them together so Fe 2 O 3 is my product after charges balance okay so Fe 3 plus O2 minus 2 so negative 2 times 3 negative 6 3 times 2 6 6 plus negative 6 equals 0 so charges cancel so that is my product right there okay after finding the product here like F2O3 I will have to balance the equation which it's a bit more um difficult you see not really I'm just joking so I have oxygen here O3 I have oxygen here O2 so common multiple 2 3 okay so I will have 2 Fe so 2 Fe here in the for one molar and I have 2 molar so I have a 2 times 2 equals 4 I have 4 Fe2 plus plus 3 O2 goes to 2 Fe2 O3 that'd be my answer alright let's go example 3 um, this is a bit harder I would say it's um, HCl plus KMnO4 so first we would say that it's one of the known uh, reducing agent no no oxidizing agent is it no no but like they're being reduced okay so we know this is being reduced let me use pen is easier hopefully you guys can read it alright so we know that's being reduced MN so it's positive 7 goes to 2 positive so <coughs> Since we know being re one of them is being reduced already, we must have something that's being oxidized, okay? And first, let's just say this whole thing is said it's a solid, KMnO, KMnO4. That it's a solid. It says in the reactant, so I wouldn't break them apart. I would not break them apart because of that, okay? And I have hydrochloric acid here, so uh, this must must be broken apart because it's a strong acid unless they stay I don't know a solid hydrogen hydrochloric acid I don't know how is that possible but if they mention solid or insoluble compound whatever you do not break them apart even though if they fit the description okay so we know this is being reduced hydrogen can't be can't be oxidized because oxidized means you get more positive hydrogen will have to state H2O no H2 0 or H positive one, okay. And we know K is like what's that called? It cannot be reduced nor anything. No, it cannot be oxidized because it only have one oxidation state, positive or zero. And we know oxygen. Now you need to put in um your uh, what's that called? Knowledge of electronegativity. Cl minus and O four. No, okay. Cl and O. Okay. Cl box oxygen. O2. Nah, let's just leave it like that. Okay, oxygen. Put okay, X, Y. Okay, which one is more electronegativity? Which one has more electronegativity? Which one takes more energy to take it to take an electron away from? So I would say oxygen would have more electronegativity than Cl. Okay, so since this is being reduced and Cl is minus one, this must be going to be oxidized. Okay. Because oxygen is more like electronegative, electronegativity, electronegative. So basically, it cannot be oxidized that easily. Instead, Cl is easier to be oxidized. Okay, instead. So we know Cl oxidized, and it would make. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> um. 
And here's another problem, I would say. Uh, it's because, um... What's that called? Let's go back to the equation, first of all. So, I know KMNO4, right? And I know HCl. This is an acid. This, to me, I have a mental image. It's, um, what's that called? Basic. Oxide? Mn? K? These two are both metals. And here's an oxide. I would think it has some acidic property. So, no, it would have some basic property. So, I would think to myself, it can, it, it has some, a bit of acid and base. And remember what acid and base goes together, right? When acid adds to base, you make water and salt. So, I have hydrogen, I have water. No, I have hydrogen, I have oxygen. I can make water. That will be another one of my products. And remember, the oxidation for hydrogen and oxygen didn't change. It, it, um, it satisfied what I picked to oxidize, what I picked to reduce, okay? And the, after doing this, like, I would say Cl would go into Cl2 because I keep everything simple. I don't want to, like, go to ClO2 because, like, I would have to balance more oxygen if I actually do that, and it might not be correct. So, whenever, when, I asked, when I saw Cl minus, right, I would think to myself, kiss. Keep it simple, student. Okay? Keep it simple, student. Okay? So, since I have Cl here, and I told you I would make Cl2, because I'm being oxidized, so I would get more positive, so the negative turns to zero. With Cl, most of Cl has two, um, two states of oxidation by itself. By itself, what I mean. So, B plus Cl2. Okay? Now, we see, is every element from the side used it? No, you have K left, okay? So we know K is like, what's that called? Soluble of anything? So I will put K positive. You don't need to know about the other one. Because you just don't. Because it's either Cl minus or something else. Because the only thing it can be is Cl minus. But there's Cl minus there, Cl minus here, Cl minus gonna get crossed out, right? So I know I won't need anything here. Well, that's what I think, at least, but... Uh, this is hard to explain, but... Yeah, that's how, how would I explain it? Or well, like, yeah, pretty much. So, we know every single element's used it. And everything... Yeah, basically everything's used in... So... Yeah. Now, it comes to balancing. Well... Um... Yeah... Let's just revisit this question again, so like, I'll uh, give you an overcap. So basically, HCl plus solid KMnO4 goes to Mn2 plus plus H2O plus Cl2 plus K plus. So we know Mn's being reduced and Cl is being oxidized because that Mn it's uh, reduced. It's one of the um, the ion we need to know. It's always going to be reduced. And because of electronegativity, we decided that Cl would be re would be oxidized instead of oxygen. So we did. So Cl goes to Cl2. And then I have H and then I have oxygen. And I have K left. I would think I would make H2O and just K plus by itself. Because metal, because column 1A metal can stand by itself. Especially when they're, what's that called? When they're soluble with anything. Unless it state they're solid. And that's basically uh, how would I do reduction, no, redox reaction and finding the product. You're going to use a lot of um, the seven must I mentioned, polyion, solubility rule, transition metals, po um, reduce and oxidize, algebra, why is it reducing, and no electronegativity. All these play a major factor in the three questions I went over. And because of that, I was able to determine the answer or like the product of it. And you can balance by uh, balance it yourself afterward. Thank you. If you need any more questions, you can just ask me online. I'll try my best to answer it for you. And yeah.